Welcome to the video 4, which is on the second principle of the four principles of searching, which is mesh search. Let's learn the principle to mesh search. This principle is based on the question, how can we get results about our terms? In the first principle, the word search, we understood that if we type words or keywords, expecting results about them, we cannot necessarily get all results about them because many of the results will simply contain our keywords and not be about our keywords. So, the second principle will answer the question, how can we get results about our search terms? In this, we introduce the concept of tags that describe the result records and articles. Here, I have three PubMed results. Actually, I've done a search on a disease and got results out of which I've chosen these three to display. Now, I'm saying that the first article, which is a cost analysis is premature, is tagged with the disease bronchiolitis, cost analysis, and the drug dexamethasone. The second article is tagged with bronchiolitis, fever of unknown origin, and pulmonary tuberculosis. The third is tagged with bronchiolitis, physician-patient relations. So you can see that I've actually searched for bronchiolitis and got all these. Now, how did I know that all these are tagged with all this? You might say that I clicked the titles and got abstracts. But if you look carefully, all the three records say there are no abstracts. Many PubMed records don't have abstracts. So, how on earth did I know about this tagging? Let's now understand how articles in PubMed are tagged. If I click any of the titles, I'm clicking the first one, I go to a more detailed display where normally there would have been an abstract if the author had written one. Here, as we knew earlier, there's no abstract. But you see something called mesh terms. These are the tags that describe this article whose title is Cost Analysis is Premature. Tags like these, which we are going to see in a moment, are added to most records in PubMed to describe the entire article. For a moment, I will take you back to the What is PubMed video, where we mentioned that PubMed has bibliographical data of a whole lot of articles from journals which are selected and the database is compiled in the National Library of Medicine. These tags are added in the National Library of Medicine because people at the NLM have access to the whole article. They can read the article and add the tags saying this article is about whatever disease, drug, etc. So if we click mesh terms, we get the list of tags. Let's examine a couple of them. This article is about drug treatment of bronchiolitis, economics of bronchiolitis, the first two concepts which are highlighted here. If we look carefully at the slide, it is put down as the disease bronchiolitis, there's a forward slash drug therapy. The second one says the disease bronchiolitis forward slash economics. In plain language, we can say it is drug treatment of bronchiolitis and economics of bronchiolitis. If we look carefully, we can note one more thing. The second term has a star at the end. And such stars attached to some of the mesh terms indicate that 
these topics have a major coverage in the article in other words in this article the economics of bronchiolitis is covered in great detail if you see the title the word cost analysis is there and that means it definitely does cover economics in a great detail what is mesh let's learn a little more about what we are talking about mesh terms mesh stands for medical subject headings mesh terms you saw a small sample in the previous record these come from a collection of standard terms in a way it's the way you know about dictionaries which are recognized as the standard terms to use in a language mesh terms are from a similar product called a thesaurus specifically the mesh thesaurus thesaurus terms do give you the meaning of the terms but they are more specifically used in context to uh, represent a collection of similar sounding concepts so mesh terms come from the mesh thesaurus a collection of standard terms and terms from this collection alone are used to tag or describe every article record who does this job of tagging the tagging is done by professional indexers in the nlm they are employed by the nlm they have access to the full articles though pubmed contains only the bibliographic data they have access to the full article so they are able to read the article and tag the article telling us what the article is about with a collection of terms taken from the mesh thesaurus now we've understood that every item in pubmed or rather most items in pubmed have these descriptive uh, uh, tags called mesh terms so how do we search using mesh terms before i explain how to search let me again go back to our previous video on what is pubmed where we talked about pubmed being a collection of bibliographic data from medline journals and non medline journals the medline journals are the one to which mesh terms are attached the for, for every record whereas the ones which came in later the ones which are not part of medline journals the non medline journals they never get mesh terms yet we do have the other bibliographic data by which we can search them so how do we search pubmed using mesh terms let's learn the special method of searching and for this i'd like to mention a little on something we are all familiar with how do we search using tags in facebook or twitter we use the character hashtag and then put in whatever term we are searching for for example i could put hashtag movies and search for posts about movies if i write a post about movies i could say hashtag movie so that others could search for the same similarly in pubmed there's a special method of tagging your search term without just putting in a keyword let's see how that works for this what we are really doing is we can tell pubmed search for records that contain the word bronchiolitis which it anyway will do we are adding it must contain the word in the list of mesh terms because if the word bronchiolitis is in the list of mesh terms the article is definitely about bronchiolitis even if the word bronchiolitis does not figure in the title now how do we instruct pubmed to do this we just have to type the word mesh after bronchiolitis but in square brackets the square bracket mesh is the tag which is equivalent of the hashtag that we would use in facebook or twitter 
what are the types of mesh searches we can do. If I type bronchiolitis and the word mesh in square brackets, I'm telling PubMed, look for the word bronchiolitis in the list of mesh terms. Whether there is a subheading or not, subheading is the aspect, and whether there is a star or not. If I want an aspect of bronchiolitis, I need to type it after the uh, main term bronchiolitis. So here I have said bronchiolitis forward slash etiology because I want our records about the causes of bronchiolitis. So I've added a subheading after a forward slash and then tagged it with mesh. I've obviously got less number of results. The third kind I can do is I say bronchiolitis and in square brackets major. Major simply means look for the word bronchiolitis in the list of mesh terms with or without a subheading since we haven't specified it. But major means look for the term with a star. The star indicates the major coverage. We don't type the character star here. We say major. Major means in the list of mesh terms with a star. So you can see we've got less records than the first search we did, but more than the second because we've not specified a subheading or aspect. The last kind is we are putting in a subheading and saying major. So it's going to look for bronchiolitis slash etiology followed by a star. And here we've got the least number of results. So in this way, we can tweak our mesh search to get very focused number of results that we are looking for. So the recap of principle two is standardized specific keywords are tagged to most PubMed records. Why not all PubMed records? It's not tagged to the non-Medline journals and it takes a little while for this tagging to be done by indexers to the latest items that have come into PubMed, even from Medline journals. So still, it's tagged to most PubMed records. All the older ones of the Medline journals are tagged with mesh. So majority of PubMed records have mesh terms. And if we search using these tags, that is, Following our search term, we put mesh in square brackets. We are guaranteed to get relevant results. Please master this principle very clearly because it is unique to PubMed and we can get the most relevant results if we use this principle while we search. Thank you and good luck.